Alrighty, so what we are going to do today is we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti uh, screw slash drill driver versus the DeWalt screw slash drill driver. Now, both of these are awesome. They're very compact and they're part of the 12 volt system for each brand. Personally, this is my favorite tool out of all the tools that I own because it has the power to do most of what I need to do around the house when it comes to the interior. Now, uh, both of these do come with more powerful batteries. Uh, the DeWalt has two and three amp hour batteries, as far as I know. And the uh, uh, Hilti has 2.6 amp hour and a four amp hour battery for their 12 volt system. Uh, neither of them have any other amp hour batteries that's higher than that. So we are gonna use the 2.6 for the Hilti and the two amp hour for the DeWalt. Now, one thing I will say that uh, DeWalt will majorly not benefit from the dewalt is variable trigger only i already did a video of this uh it was against the brushless and the hilti was brushed but this time this is going to be a brushless versus brushless and the last video the results were a little iffy because both tools at the time struggled to do the tasks and so uh we're we are going to revisit this test with the new updated hilti version and we are gonna do a comparison video on to see which one prevails on certain tasks. We'll start off with the DeWalt. The model number for this is uh, DCF601. I love the, the tri-LED LED beams on the front. That is awesome. It's a shadowless uh, work area. And so it does come with a metal belt clip. Uh, this has a two amp hour battery. Battery is full. And so the variable trigger uh, only, this goes to 0 to uh, 1100 RPMs. It is a uh, 15 point clutch plus 1. And there, uh, this is not, uh, a, it does not say drill setting, it just says max. I love these subcompact tools. So the Hilti is a 2 speed setting, 1 and 2. It is a 15 point clutch plus 1. It has a drill at the end. The model number for this is SFD2A12. Uh, two speed settings, zero to 400 on speed one and zero to 1600 on speed two. And it does not say what the torque is, so I'll put that in right now. Now, the one thing I love about batteries is the rubber molding on the bottom and on the 12 volt battery for the Hilti, the bottom is 100% rubber molding when the DeWalt on, uh, doesn't have rubber molding at all on any of their batteries. I love the rubber molding on the bottom of batteries because if you're in the construction and you're working on a, a finished surface, you don't want anything to risk the surface scratching uh, in the slightest. So we are going to put these two to the test and see what these two are capable of doing against each other. When you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. You got mine right here. So first we are gonna do a 3 16th uh, 3 16 self-driving spade bit. Let's see what this is capable of doing. Battery is full. Variable, variable speed trigger only. So let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. I think it's having issues. Alrighty, so that acted that way with the 3 sixteenths. So let's do the Hilti. First we're going to try it on speed 2 to see if it's capable, capable of, but since it has a uh, speed setting we will use it if we have to. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. So ready, go. Done. Try the one inch to see if it's capable of doing it, even if it struggles. All right, so ready, go. And it's 
through. Let's see if the Hilti is capable of putting this in. All right, so ready, go. Wow. That's through as well. All right, so I think it's time to try some specs. We are gonna do the DeWalt first, uh, six inch spec. Let's see if it can do it. I'm hoping it can. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Time, it did it, it did it flawlessly. That is awesome. All right, so we're gonna test it out on speed two, see if it's capable of doing it. All right, so ready, go. All right, so we're going to reverse that. Now we're going to do it on speed one. All right, so ready, go. Easily. Time. All right, so ready. Ready, go. Yeah, it's power. It's a powerful little guy, seriously. It is a powerful little guy. Time. Not bad. Not bad at all. See, like, both, like, the 12 volt systems nowadays are seriously so powerful. What is the battery on the DeWalt? It is at two bars. The battery on the Hilti is at three bars. We will do the DeWalt first. Ready, go. Wow. Time. Not bad at all. All right, so ready, go. You can do, oh, cut out once, twice, three times, and it requires speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. DeWalt is gonna take out Hilties. All right, so ready, go. I will say that DeWalt is quiet. Uh, this DeWalt is seriously quiet. All right, so let's see if uh, Hilti is capable of taking it out on speed two. Battery is at three bars again. All right, so ready, go. Time, it is capable of taking it out on speed two. My favorite tools are 12 volt tools now. I just like how small they are with the power that they have and they're so compact. This is my ultimate favorite tool and this is number two. These two are my two favorite tools. So, but these two did exceptionally well. I do not know what the results are. I find that out in the editing of the video, but this is a close one. The huge advantage that the Hilti has, it has two speed settings and the DeWalt only has a variable speed trigger. Based on that, uh, I'm going to have to say the Hilti uh, is probably going to win on this one when it comes to time. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Plenty of videos coming up. And so yes, this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.